So today is Christmas Day, and uh, Donald Trump, as well as he uh, has done some crazy, terrible shit over the years, is now going to be on a naughty list because of recent events that happened during election day and he still won't let go so i'm only going to give you a few minutes of this thank you this may be the most important speech i've ever made i want to provide an update on our ongoing efforts to expose the tremendous voter fraud and irregularities which took place during the ridiculously long November 3rd elections. We used to have what was called election day. Now we have election days, weeks and months, and lots of bad th things happened during this ridiculous period of time, especially when you have to prove almost nothing to exercise our greatest privilege the right to vote. As president, I have no higher duty than to defend the laws and the Constitution of the United States. That is why I am determined to protect our election system, which is now under coordinated assault and siege. For months leading up to the presidential election, we were warned that we should not declare a premature victory. We were told repeatedly that it would take weeks, if not months, to determine the winner, to count the absentee ballots, and to verify the results. My opponent was told to stay away from the election. Don't campaign. We don't need you. We've got it. This election is done. In fact, they were acting like they already knew what the outcome was going to be. They had it covered, and perhaps they did, very sadly for our country. It was all very, very strange. Within days after the election, we witnessed an orchestrated effort to anoint a winner, even while many key states were still being counted. The constitutional process must be allowed to continue. We are going to defend the honesty of the vote, by ensuring that every legal ballot is counted and that no illegal ballot is counted. This is not just about honoring the votes of 74 million Americans who voted for me. It's about ensuring that Americans can have faith in this election and in all future elections. Today, I will detail some of the shocking irregularities, abuses and fraud that have been revealed in recent weeks. But before laying out just a small portion of the evidence we have uncovered, and we have so much evidence, I want to explain the corrupt mail-in balloting scheme that Democrats systematically put into place that allowed voting to be altered, especially in swing states, which they had to win. They just didn't know that it was going to be that tough because we were leading in every swing state by so much far greater than they ever thought possible. While it has long been understood that the Democrat political machine engages in voter fraud from Detroit to Philadelphia, to Milwaukee, Atlanta, so many other places. What changed this year was the Democrat party's relentless push to print and mail out tens of millions of ballots sent to unknown recipients with virtually no safeguards of any kind. This allowed fraud and abuse to occur on a scale never seen before. Using the pandemic as a pretext, Democrat politicians and judges drastically changed election procedures just months and in some cases weeks before the election on the 3rd of November. Very rarely were legislatures involved 
and constitutionally they had to be involved. But very, very rarely, and you'll see that as we continue to file our suit. And let's not forget about Melania Trump, who once admitted that she hates Christmas, and she is now putting out her last act on the video, that she is is celebrating Christmas. Let's watch the entire day. The President and I want to wish every American a very Merry Christmas. During the sacred season, Christians celebrate the greatest miracle in human history. More than 2,000 years ago, God sent His only begotten Son to be with us. An angel announced the birth of our Lord and Savior, the humble shepherds. He said, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all of the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. At Christmas, we thank God for sending us His Son to bring peace to our souls and joy to the world. As you know, this Christmas is different than years past. We are battling a global pandemic that has affected all of us. Yet, through this great challenge, we have been inspired by the kindness and courage of citizens across this country. Teachers have worked extraordinarily hard to keep our children learning. Students have delivered groceries to elderly neighbors. Communities have found new ways to stay connected to one another. Courageous first responders, doctors, and nurses have given everything to save lives. Brilliant scientists have developed treatments and vaccines. We are delivering millions of doses of a safe and effective vaccine that will soon end this terrible pandemic and save millions and millions of lives. We're grateful for all of the scientists, researchers, manufacturing workers, and service members who have worked tirelessly to make this breakthrough possible. It is truly a Christmas miracle. During this wonderful time of year, we also give thanks for the brave and selfless Americans who keep us safe. We are forever grateful for the men and women of law enforcement and the heroes of the United States. In this holy season, we thank God for His infinite love, and we pray that the light of His glory will forever shine on this magnificent land. On behalf of Melania and the entire Trump family, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Now, let me make this quick. Donald John Trump and Melania Trump both get coal. Yeah, that's it. Donald John Trump gets coal for almost destroying his entire country and the entire country that he's almost destroying are the kids who I deliver to Christmas every year. And as for Melania Trump, she gets called too for hating Christmas all this time. She pretends to put up an act to like Christmas for the past four years, but yet she clearly doesn't show that she likes Christmas at all. So I'm giving call to Mr. and Mrs. Trump. They both get called this year because they are naughty people. Very, very naughty. Merry Christmas, Mr. and Mrs. Trump. <laughs>